Welcome. I'm David Ricks. I'm a personal injury trial lawyer in Rancho Cucamonga and the principal of the Inland Empire Law Group. With the explosion of social media, there's also been an explosion in the discovery world in litigation where they want to know about the claimant's social media accounts or the person who was hurt. They want to know who, what social media that person's on, what postings have been done. They want access to the password so that they can access your social media. So be aware that if you've been involved in an accident, the other side is going to be looking for reasons not to give you money, not to award you damages, because they're going to try to find inconsistencies with what you say in, at one, in one instance and what you're doing in another instance. If you say you're, you can't swim, then you better be aware that you're going to be watched to see if you're swimming. If you can swim, then you let your attorney know, yes, I can swim or I can do these activities, but I do them in pain or whatever the case may be. Be honest with your attorney, but limit your social media activity after an accident until you've spoken with your attorney and you've let your attorney know that this is what you were doing before, this is what you're doing now. Not only is your social media at risk, but those who you connect with could be at risk because they might post pictures of you engaged in some activity and that might be used against you. So again, if you've been involved in an accident, stop your social media right then and there until you speak with an attorney and find out what you can do to protect yourself.